This is five on your side at six, focused on you. Now at six, a group of teachers calling out a North St. Louis County School District. Tonight, why a number of faculty at McClure Senior High School didn't show up to work this week. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. The Florissant and Ferguson School District sent a letter to families Thursday to address the teacher absences. Five on your side's Travis Cummings joins us live from North Florissant Road to break it all down. What's going on, Travis? Well, Brent, we got a hold of that email that the district sent out two families saying that 37 teachers here at McClure were absent yesterday due to a conference and illnesses. Well, we also got a letter from a group of teachers today who wanted to remain anonymous. They say what the district put out about why they weren't at school today is far from true. This email from Ferguson Florissant School District Superintendent Dr. Joseph Davis sparked major concern among parents on Friday. The district leader named a conference, illnesses and other unforeseen absences as the reason 37 teachers weren't inside McClure High School on Thursday and that his office had it all under control. But a drafted letter sent to five on your side from a group of teachers from the school claims otherwise. It reads, quote, as you are aware, McClure High School has had a very tumultuous year. At this time, faculty and staff feel they need a way to anonymously communicate concerns regarding the state of the building and district. According to that group, 15 to 20 percent of the staff have already made the decision not to return next school year. The letter outlines reasons for those feelings like poor staff support and disciplinary issues not being addressed for incidents, including sex in the hallways, drugs and fights. At a school board meeting this week, a teacher's union member told the board about violent behavior at the school. A staff member also complained about the smell of marijuana there, and others have previously told the board about discipline issues. A spokesperson for the district sent a statement to our questions about the group's concern, saying in part, the district is continuing to work to address concerns and to make the necessary changes to ensure we are providing a supportive and safe learning environment for both students and staff. And that spokesperson also said that the district has already implemented some things to help these issues. That includes adding staff, increasing emotional, social and mental health support for students and updating their student expectation code to address student behavior. We're live in St. Louis County tonight. Travis Cummings five on your side. Very interesting, Travis.